Well, I don't want to be cynical. I, I, I hope people were listening today. Uh, I'm not optimistic about people listening. I, I think this is just a pro forma exercise. I will be pleasantly surprised if they do listen. But believe me, we're going to keep fighting. And I think we made our case and we're going to continue to make our case. We're not going to stop. The fight is on to save Lehman High School, the latest in a string of large schools in the Bronx to be phased out by the New York City Department of Education after getting low scores on its annual report card. With reorganization efforts in process under the direction of the Department of Education, many changes are being made. And with the new principal signed to the school in 2011, some parents say the school is on the rebound and deserves a chance. So for you to sit here and say that this school is not servicing the community, the numbers don't reflect that, that's quite frankly an insult to me, sir. Parents Association President Elvin Flores' son is on the school's robotic team that performed for the crowd. He says that this and the work of teachers are not getting enough recognition. What I don't understand is, last year when Ms. Lobianco took over this school, you came in in the, in the middle of the school year and you immediately proposed the same type of phase out. I don't understand who hires someone, brings them in, and then tells them within the first couple of months, you're not doing a good job. You're basing that on data that's in the past. There'll be data to prove that Lehman is on an upswing. Principal Rose Lobianco then outlined her strategy to raise student performances that include better communication between teachers and students and upgrading their computers. Flexible programming in accordance with the academic policy guidelines and offer multiple pathways. PM school, targeted intervention, independent studies, Saturday school. And she's getting support from New York City Councilman Jimmy Vaca. And the reason Lehman fell to its feet is because of DOE's own policies and what they did to this building. It's not because of the students or the parents. They forced Lehman into three years of crisis and instability, and now they say, we're going to close you. That's not just, that's not, it's just not fair. And it's something I don't accept at all. Others backing the school are recent graduate and current private first class in the U.S. Army, Amado Sanchez. Like I just recently came back from active duty orders, and I came here because I heard they were doing this again, and I was like, why? You know, it's, it really bothers me because, I mean, not only that I make friends here, this is the place where I started to feel home rather than just being in the streets and doing nothing. I come here and help out mentor people with whatever I can. Speaker after speaker made their pitch at the podium in favor of the school. What will happen remains to be seen. The panel for educational policy will be making a vote in March. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.